welcome to the second part of looking at basic shapes that can be created in the sketcher workbench last time we had a look at point line we had a look at creation of arc and two ways of creating them we had a look at how to draw a circle and again two ways of creating that we had a look at conic sections and we also had a look at piece planes now in this video we are going to have a look at polylines what are polylines polylines are interconnected lines so when you create a line and then when you click on it to make a stop to that line if it was just the line command then this line would have stopped here with the polyline creation of line segments continues so i can click on and keep on clicking on wherever i want and i can close this or turn this uh, polyline tool off by clicking either clicking on the first point like this so then no more line segments are created the other way of turning off polyline tool is that when you are done you right click and it will just stop the polyline tool for drawing the polylines but you will be still in polyline tool so if you click again you will still be in polyline tool so with any of the other uh, creation of shapes when you right click once you are out of that uh, shape creation mode but with polylines you'll have to click on twice to come out of creation of that shape mode let's delete all of these with the polyline it's not just how you can create lines again with polylines it's the same rule as it was with lines if you can see a vertical symbol near the polyline tool and you click it that line would be vertical if you click on the if you start dragging the line in such a way that it is horizontal and you click the line then it becomes horizontal now again uh, same thing with the line tool there is no 45 degree uh, line that can be created with polyline but the other interesting thing that you can do is say instead of creating this line and making sure that it is vertical or horizontal there is another way of making this next line segment perpendicular to this previous line segment and the way to do that is by clicking m key on the keyboard when the polyline tool is on so when you click m key for the first time polyline tool next creates the perpendicular line to the previous line so wherever i take my mouse cursor it does not matter the line that will be created it will be perpendicular to the previous one to give you an idea let's click here and then again you are back with the polyline tool if i click on the line segment here then it's a normal line segment if i click on m again i can draw a perpendicular line to the previous line segment now if i click m once i can do perpendicular lines if i click on m one more time then i can create straight lines which is collinear to the previous line segment now if i click on m one two and three times i can start creating curves or i can start creating arcs and that arc the starting of that arc would be tangent to the previous line segment so if i click on this here then that arc is tangent to the previous arc now you are still again in the perpendicular line segment mode so if you click here and then start clicking on m again then again you are in that tangent mode and then if you click on m one more time then the you are still in arc creation mode but this time the arc is perpendicular or the starting of the arc is perpendicular to the previous line segment so if i click say here 
then again you would be in the perpendicular mode now let's click on m1 2 3 4 and the fifth time when you do it the angle switches so first it was perpendicular this side next it becomes perpendicular on the other side and then continuing our polyline tool let's click on m or let's press the m key one two three four five and the sixth time when you click on it at the sixth time you are back with the normal polyline tool so that's how you create a polyline now you can create a polyline which is a closed shape or you can create an open shape polyline so that's how you create polylines using sketcher workbench in precad next we are going to have a look at how to create a rectangle now when i click on the first point so that's the one of the corners of the rectangle and precad asks me to click on the opposite corner of the rectangle when i click on that opposite corner precad draws that rectangle you cannot draw a square per se but what you can do is after you have selected or you have made this rectangle you can go in and make these line segments equal to each other and that's how you make the rectangle in a square now rectangles can be the only thing that can be done with the rectangle is you can either create a vertical rectangle or a horizontal rectangle you cannot create rectangles at an angle there is another way of creating rectangles at an angle and i'll show you next so let's come out of the rectangle tool next there is the option to create a regular polygon when you click on this drop down link you can see that you can create a triangle now again the blue circle is just a construction circle so it won't be uh, if you are extruding it or if you are revolving this thing this triangle the blue circle will not be extruded or revolved now remember i mentioned something about drawing a rectangle at an angle to do that click on click on the drop down menu and then click on the square so click on the first point which is the center of your square and then you can create square like this so this is how you can create a square which is not just uh, horizontal or vertical but it is at an angle so the side of the square it is at an angle to the horizontal or vertical direction next you can create pentagons and all the other different shapes you can create a hexagon so in all of these shapes the shape is inscribed within the circle now if you want to create a polygon with say 15 numbers of side then you click on that you enter the number of sides you want you click on ok and then you create a polygon with the number of sides that you want Precat allows you to create polygons from all the way from three sides to the number of sides that you desire the next shape that we are going to discuss is how to create a slot in sketch slots are helpful when you are doing geometries like a slotted hole for the leg of a pressure vessel or a tank so slots are used at certain locations in several locations in engineering design so how do you create a slot click on the slot icon click on the first point now that point becomes the center of the circle or the half circle 
click on the second point and that's how you create the slot so the first point that you clicked was this point and the next point you clicked was this point here now if you want to create a thicker slot then you just click the second point a bit further away from the axis line and that's how you can create a different slot so this is how you can create several different shapes so first we had a look at polylines and all the different modifiers of a polyline next we had a look at how to draw rectangles then we had a look at all the different types of polygons that can be created in sketcher workbench next we had a look at how to draw slots this will be the end of this video in the next video we are going to look at how to modify the existing drawing or existing sketch either by trimming it or adding a fillet to it or just extending the line but all of that will be considered in the next tutorial i'll see you then